Leon the Lobster is a huge fan of all of his YouTube friends and viewers. You. He and I read a lot of the comments viewers post. Many are super funny, educational, heartwarming, sharing some details about your own lives from different places all over our globe. <laughs> a few are mean. <laughs> some are obvious the viewer has been um, partying and posting. Overall though, like a big community of intelligent and curious people who share a lot of the same interests. Though we're all each out here on our own individual journeys, just like Leon is. We're still on molt alert here. Leon still hasn't molted, though he's showing hints and keeping me on my toes. Once again, Leon reminds me that there are not a lot of exact schedules in nature. More ebbs and flows and variables that change the schedule and chemistry. Leon will molt when he feels the time and the conditions are best for him. And if I'm lucky and alert, I'll get to witness it and hopefully share it with you. So, in the meantime, let's look at some viewers' comments and hopefully answer a few of them. <gasps> oh no! One comment that Leon still gets from the very first Leon video straight up until now, nearly three years in. There are a lot of viewers that want to eat Leon. <laughs> some say, I should give Leon a hot bath. It's finally time to eat the lobster. Viewers are inviting Leon over to their house for dinner. <laughs> I told Leon about those and he said, great, what are we eating? Another viewer said he's melting butter right now. One viewer even asked me what dollar amount I would take to eat Leon. <laughs> Obviously, I just laughed. I mean, if you have a family dog sitting beside you or a cat on your lap right now, how much would you take to eat it? That's basically the question this viewer is asking me. Seriously though, Leon's not interested in being eaten. Those days are behind him. He is off the menu. That leads me to another very common question. <laughs> no, I haven't eaten lobster since Leon came to live with me. I have eaten a few crab legs though. Another question the first Leon video still gets too is about the barnacles on Leon's claws when he first came home from the grocery store. The barnacles were growing under the rubber bands, but after I cut the rubber bands off and Leon could reach the barnacles, he picked them off himself. A few viewers still confuse the white lumps on Leon's claws with barnacles, but these are actually his teeth, or essentially molars on his claws, that help with holding and crushing food. Another really common question is, why don't you return Leon to the sea? This question is asked on just about every episode. Why not let it live in the sea? Would you ever consider returning Leon to the ocean? R314 says, just set him free, you weirdo. <laughs> Another viewer says, I would free them all in the ocean. Leon is a North American lobster. He requires cold water year-round. His home water is in Upper North America. He can't just be tossed into any ocean. The conditions have to be right for him. He would die fast if I took him to the South Carolina coast, for example. Unfortunately, he was shipped over a thousand miles to a grocery store. So to get him back there to his homeland wouldn't be easy. Also, the lobster industry is huge. Leon would likely get caught again quickly and cooked and eaten. At this point, Leon is a friend and a family member. I just don't want that to happen to him. Leon has had a few stalkers, people showing up at the door. I won't go into the details of those, but speaking of privacy, it's a great intro for Leon's new sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark develops humanized privacy and security solutions to safeguard your data and privacy online. It allows you to travel all over, virtually travel the world, and browse privately. Surfshark encrypts your internet activity, blocks ads and malware that get in your way, and a lot more. Go to surfshark.com forward slash Brandwood and use the code Brandwood to get an exclusive deal. Four extra months. 
Using a VPN is like wearing pants instead of walking around the world naked. All your important stuff stays private and secure rather than being exposed. A VPN, Virtual Private Network, covers your whole online activity. Once your device connects to the internet, all the information is encrypted, uh, blurred out in a way. That way, your online activity is hidden from all the snoopers and the trackers. You can use it on unlimited devices, there's no risk, Surfshark offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 customer service. Go to surfshark.com forward slash Brandwood and use the code Brandwood to get an exclusive deal for extra months. I enjoyed reading the comments and responses about the beluga whales at the Georgia Aquarium. Yeah, and yes, the comments were varied, about 50-50 on whether it was okay to keep them at an aquarium ethically, or they really should be left alone to live their lives in the ocean. I just saw a story about a beluga whale that was suspected to have been trained and used as a spy. It was recently found dead, unfortunately. You may have seen the story, too. Another really common comment, Leon needs a mate. That would require a huge amount of space. It sounds romantic, but lobsters tend to be territorial. And Leon and Leona would fight and hurt each other in an aquarium. A lobster's life cycle is pretty complex too. A female can carry 50,000 or more eggs. So trying to hatch these in Leon's aquarium would be absolute disaster for all of the hatchlings, and for Leon and his mate. It's great to see so many viewers that have been watching Leon's journey since the very first video almost three years ago, keeping a grocery store lobster as a pet. Leon absolutely appreciates the love. It's very cool too to see viewers' comments about running into other Leon friends and fans. Eliza writes, the other day we were at lunch with friends and I mentioned your videos and a young woman cried, I love Leon. We compared notes while our companions looked at each other. An American Leon fan was wearing her Leon sweatshirt in Germany recently and ran into another Leon fan there. Leon's love spreads far and wide. It's great to see that Jet and the other rescue cats and now the rescue chickens have a lot of viewer friends too. <laughs> and the pouring in of love and condolences to the surveillance camera cat from the Leon episode, Leon Finds the Missing Crab. as well as for the poor mother hen in the episode is Leon a Chick Magnet. So many comments and questions about Leon's gorgeous blue color these days. I don't know the answer to why Leon is getting so blue. Part of it may be his genetic makeup or possibly the food he's getting here. I do feed him a lot of shrimp with the shell on, so there may be some sort of chromatophore enhancing magic there. Also, it might be a sexual maturity thing, a bit like the yellowfin shiners showing off their amazing colors in spring. <laughs> a lot of people caught the jellyfish anatomy joke at my son's mad jellyfish lab. Too funny, that's actually an inside joke with my two sons and us. We were at the beach a few years ago walking on the beach and a lady and a child were stopped looking down at a dead jellyfish washed up on the beach. And the kid says, that's a jellyfish. And the lady says, oh baby girl, that's just the jelly. The fish is done gone. <laughs> One of those slice of real life moments that just sticks with you.
Leon's giant lava lamp gets a lot of love. I love it myself. It's from a retro and vintage shop in Athens, Georgia. I think Leon likes it too. You might have noticed I've been adding a bit more travel, adventure, and everyday life stuff to the Leon episodes. Viewers' comments on this have been mixed. Mostly positive, but yeah, some viewers straight out say, hey, I come here for Leon, and they just want to see Leon. <laughs> I can understand that. I appreciate everyone that watches, and for whatever reason. Every Leon show, though, just takes on a life of its own, and it becomes its own unique little story. Some of the comments and responses to the Roadkill Purse segment absolutely cracked me up. I was both shocked and fascinated when that lady was telling me about her purses. She was so passionate about them, talking about every detail, like any artist does. Another big question from viewers that have picked up mid-series or just the last few episodes is where did the baby crabs come from? They rode in on shells and debris I picked up on the beach. That's what the whole 125 gallon rescue aquarium is based on too. In fact, even a whole year later, new creatures are showing up in the 125 gallon rescue aquarium. I'll have more details on this in an upcoming episode. Nature is amazing. Don't they eat their old shell? You should leave the old shell in after a molt so Leon can eat it. This is a question and comment that still comes up a lot. I think it's one of those topics that some viewers just Google though, and it's too general for Leon's situation. In the wild, it's possible that lobsters do that, or some do that. In an aquarium situation though, an aquarium is a much smaller enclosed ecosystem. Leon's old shell is full of organic material that starts decaying, basically rotting as soon as he separates from it. So, in an enclosed aquarium, that's a fast formula for disaster. An ammonia spike, pH shift, bad bacteria blooms. I prefer to take the old shell, carcass, out of the aquarium and give Leon the calcium he needs by giving him a fresh calcium-rich diet. Shrimp shells, things like that. As always, I welcome your comments or rebuttals. And speaking of diet, some viewers ask why I feed Leon cooked shrimp. Actually, all the shrimp I feed Leon is uncooked, raw. But I do sometimes feed him Argentine shrimp, which naturally has a pinkish red shell that looks similar to cooked shrimp. These comments absolutely warm my heart and are totally what Leon is about and what his vibe is about. The peace and calm some viewers get from watching Leon videos. Some say Leon is a breath of fresh and friendly air after a tough day. Some viewers have mentioned that Leon has helped them through a tough time or that Leon videos even help them sleep. That's all Leon and that's his natural vibe. I get that feeling hanging out with Leon and just watching him do his thing and when I feed him and interact with him. So it makes sense. I'll keep you updated on the progress with Leon's third molt here and have updates on the rescue cats, the chickens, and new sightings in the 125 gallon aquarium coming up. We'll see you soon. <laughs>